So there are two other ways to solve a system of equations other than graphing. The first of those being substitution, the second being elimination. So let's talk through the steps of substitution first. So what you want to do to solve an equation by substitution, um, you should know we've already kind of done this when we were solving um, perimeter problems, right? Those word problems back in sections 1.3. Um, but what you want to do is you want to solve either of the equations for one variable in terms of the other. So if x is already equal to something or y already equals something, you can skip that step. Then you're going to substitute the expression found in step one for uh, 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 step one into the other equation. This will result in an equation of one variable which you're going to solve. You substitute the value you found. Um, from step three into the equation you found in step one, and you solve both for the remaining variable. And then you check your proposed solution in both equations. So let's go through an example so you can kind of see what this looks like. So I have 5x minus 4y equals 9, and x minus 2y equals negative 3. And I need to solve for x and y. Well, I've got x minus 2y equals 3. So if I add 2y to both sides, I get that x equals 2y minus 3. Now, I have solved x for a constant, their equivalent. So I can go ahead and substitute 2y minus 3 in for x. So I'm going to have 5 times 2y minus 3 minus 4y equals 9. And these are equivalent, right? We've maintained our balance. Now I go ahead and distribute that 5. I've got 10y minus 15 minus 4y equals 9. If we combine like terms, I add 15 to both sides. I get 6y equals 24, so y equals 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Uh, in all honesty, I'm going to plug it back into either of my original equations, but I'm going to plug it in over here. So I have x equals 2 times 4 minus 3. So x equals 8 minus 3, and that means x is 5. So this point, uh, so the order paired a solution to this system of linear equations is when x is 5 and y is 4. These intersect at one point. I can check my answer by substituting back in. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got... Um, this is where I'm going to check my solution. 5 times 5 minus 4 times 4 is 9. 25 minus 16 is 9. 9 is 9. I agree with that. Next, 5 minus 2 times 4 is negative 3. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. I also agree with that. So we found the correct solution. So let's quick look at this note on the bottom that if I end up solving, try, attempting to solve this, and I end up with a false statement, that means no solution. So something like 6 equals 3, no solution. If I get an always true statement, that means infinitely many solutions. So an always true statement would be like x equals x, or 0 equals 0, or some number equals another number. So I've got y equals 5x minus 1. We're going to go ahead and substitute that in for y which means I have 5x minus 1 plus 1 equals 5 times x plus 1. So let's combine like terms. I've got 5x minus 1 plus 1. I didn't really need those parentheses. Is 5x plus 5. That means I've got 5x is 5x plus 5. If I subtract 5x from both sides, I get 0 equals 5. So that means there's no solutions. And I want you to think about what these lines look like. What does it mean when lines have no solutions? Oh, yeah, that's because they are parallel. So always envision what our functions are doing, what our graphs look like. So continuing to solve by using substitution, let's take a look at this problem. I have y equals 3x minus 2. I'm going to substitute that in for y. So I have 4x plus 2 times 3 minus 2x equals 6. I have 4x plus 6 minus 4x equals 6. I get 6 equals 6, which is a true statement. 
that means that these lines are the same line because there are infinitely many solutions and let's write these as the solutions but let's get this in slope intercept form that's how we like things the solutions are the, all of the points x and y such that y equals a negative 2x uh, plus 3. And I could have substituted either of the equations in to tell me what the solution was, but this first equation tells me a little bit more about what this line looks like because it's in slope-intercept form and so it's easier to visualize. The next method and the last method we're going to learn to solve a system of equations is using uh, elimination, which is also sometimes called the elimination method. So let's take a look at these two equations. I have 3x minus 4y is 11, and negative 3x plus 2y is negative 7. If I was to add these two equations together, um, my x term would be eliminated. So let's add these together and solve for y real quick. So if I have negative 3x plus 2y is negative 7, plus 3x minus 4y is 11. If I just add these together, which I can do, right, because they're both equal, it's like if I had 7 equals 7 and 5 equals 5, if I was to add those, 12 equals 12, right? That's why this works. So my x terms cancel. I'd get negative 2y equals 4, so y equals negative 2. I have solved successfully for one of our variables, and I can sub that back, suit that back in um, to either of our equations and solve for x. So if I have 3x minus 4 times negative 2 equals 11, 3x minus 8 is 11, 3x equals 19, so x equals 19 thirds. Okay, that's not the nicest x value, but the point is I solved for where these two lanes intersect, my x and my y. The key, the key takeaway, changing color so I can highlight it better, the key takeaway is to obtain for one of the variables coefficients that are additive opposites. Now, sometimes it's given to you, like in our example, when we were given negative three and three, but in other ways, we're gonna have to manipulate um, both sides of the equation by uh, multiplying by a constant or um, multiplying just by negative one. So let's go ahead and solve a few examples using elimination. So here are the steps. First, we want to write both equations in standard form, right? Because we aren't substituting, we need to get them both in standard form. We need to transform the equations as needed so the coefficients of one pair of variable terms are opposites. We're going to add the two equations to eliminate a variable. Solve the equation from step three for the remaining variable and find by substituting uh, back in the value of our other variable. And as always, check your solutions. So in example one here, I've got x plus y is five and x minus y is six. Lucky for me, the y's already have opposites, already have coefficients that are additive inverses. So I can add these together. I get 2x equals 11, so x is 11 halves. I can then substitute that back in to either equation to solve for y, but we're substituting in for x. So if I have 11 halves plus y is 5, well, 5, we could rewrite that as 10 halves. I subtract 11 halves from both sides. I get y equals negative 1 half. So the solution is when x is 11 halves, y is negative one half. That's my solution for this equation. Problem two is a little bit more difficult because I don't have anything that uh, are any coefficients that are added up opposite. Um, I do have a negative y and a positive five y. So if I multiply this first equation by five, that would give me 15x minus 5y equals 55, and I could add that to 2x minus 5y equals 13. Now, because I multiply both sides of the equation by 5, I maintain that this equation's 
equality, right? We can do this. That's a valid mathematical move. Now I can go ahead and add these. I've got 17x is 68. I divide both sides by 17 and I get x equals 4. 4 times 10 is 40. 4 times 7 is 28. 40 and 28 is 68. Okay, x is 4. Awesome. Now I can substitute that back into either of my equations and solve for y. 3 times 4 minus y is 11. 12 minus y is 11. Subtract 12. Negative y is negative 1, so y equals 1. My solution is the ordered pair when x is 4. y is 1. Now you may have your favorite way so far to solve a system of equations. On an exam, note that I am going to ask you specifically to solve a system of equations by elimination and solve a system of equations by substitution. I need to see that you can do both.